soil covers most of the land part of the earth. You find plants, animals, houses, and other organisms on the soil. We live on the soil and it helps us in many ways. Different types of soil have different physical characteristics. Each soil type differs in color, texture, odor, and its ability to hold water. The presence of the different kinds of vegetative plants in a place is an evidence of a good quality of soil in the area or locality. Sometimes, a combination of soil is observed in some areas of the country. There are three different types of soil in our environment, namely, clay, loam, and sand. Clay. Particles are packed together tightly. It is sticky when wet and has the finest texture. Loam. It is a mixture of sand and clay. It contains large amount of decaying plants and animals. It has a fine texture. Sand. Particles are coarse and loose. Soil is a system into which energy and matter from the sun, the atmosphere, and living organisms penetrate and interact. It is a system because it is composed of many different parts. Each of the layer has a special function to perform. Layers of soil. The soil is made up of different layers. Each layer has its own characteristics. The top soil, a horizon, is the uppermost layer of the soil. This layer is rich with organic materials called humus and with minerals needed for plant growth. Humus comes from decaying plants and animals. The soil's dark color is an indication of the presence of humus. Several kinds of plants can be seen growing on this layer. The subsoil B horizon is located just below the topsoil. It is composed of loosely arranged rocks, sand, and clay. This layer is very rich with minerals that drain from topsoil. When the topsoil is washed out, the subsoil alone cannot support plant life. The parent rock, Sea Horizon, is composed of rocks that are slowly breaking apart. It is exposed to very little weathering. It does not contain necessary nutrients and water needed for plant growth. The bedrock is the lowest of the soil layers. It is made up of undisturbed large boulders and gravel. This layer contains materials good for constructing buildings and making roads. No plant life can survive in this layer.